Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Artec Universal Backlit Bluetooth Keyboard. If this is your first time or paid visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So I have uh, the wireless Bluetooth keyboard Arctic right here and it's supposed to have seven different colors so we're going to open this up and we're going to take a look and we'll even try to you know connect it to my Chromebook uh, using the Bluetooth option and see how easy or difficult to connect it so the keyboard looks like this and this is a very simple packaging uh, it's not like you know too colorful and you can see that some of the features right here so there's a uh, light slim portable seven color backlit and universal and on top of the uh, keyboard or packaging you can see that uh, certified frustration free packaging so that means we shouldn't have any trouble opening it and let's you know mm, try and see if that's the case so i'll just put it like this and let's see if this comes off okay so it looks like it and yes, it is very easy to open and I'm just going to, you know, take out the keyboard and here we have some materials which we'll take a look and actually there's also cable and we'll just take a look at that too. So let me just, you know, put these things away. So the first thing I'm noticing that this is actually not USB-C. So this is, you know, micro USB, uh, which is okay. But, uh, you know, th these days it, everything should be USB-C. So that's something to remember. Uh, we have a micro USB-C cable. And then here's just like, you know, kind of uh, good or bad asking to review. I'll just set it aside. And then where here we have a small uh, brochure or manual. And let's just, you know, have different instructions. So I'll just put it aside. Now let's look at the keyboard itself. So it has a plastic, you know, cover. So we're just going to remove it. The first thing I'm noticing that this is really lightweight, you know, you don't feel like you have even anything. And it looks really nice, I cannot complain. And then looks like there's something like, you know, a little bit raised here and here. And on the back, it's very simple. Uh, there's nothing on the back. And the thing is, I don't know how much, you know, uh, power uh, the keyboard has. So I'll just, you know, turn this on and then see if it has any power. So let's turn on here. Okay, so looks like it has a little bit power, but you know, it went off. Let me just see. Okay, so I'm going to have to just charge it to a power bank because, you know, there's no power and then we'll just try to you know connect it to the Chromebook. So here we have the keyboard and let me open the Bluetooth setting for Chromebook. So which is going to be uh, right here. And I turned on the Bluetooth and I'm just going to click here the button connect. Okay, so there should be a Bluetooth, you know, detection right here. And let me just see if we have, yes, actually I can see that there's a Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. Uh, so I'm just going to connect it to the Bluetooth. And here I'm getting connect to Bluetooth uh, device. And looks like, you know, this has been already paired and I'm just going to quickly, you know, type in here and see that, you know, if it works. So H, H, okay. So it looks like it's just working fine. I'll just, you know, bring, uh, the tablet or laptop slightly closer so you can see that you know oh, this is connecting so you can see that you know i'm typing it in here and this is actually writing here so i'm just going to bring it a little closer so you can see okay so if you take a look on the computer monitor or the computer screen so i'll just like you know type in my name and it looks like you know it's connecting it's working fine and i'm using the arrow button and just hit enter okay so the connection was just fine i'll just put it aside a little bit and 
everything is looks okay so it just like you know it, it connected instantly and there's no issue no nothing and as you can see it looks like the default you know backlit is blue so in order to change that uh, the function button and there should be a you know backlit button right here hold both this button this button together and then do page up and down and actually yes now i can see the red so if you can uh, you know if you're taking a look at it is you can see that it's changing to red and now i can see all of the colors so it it's working and it's kind it's going to be kind of hard to decide which backlit you want so i think i'm going to just try like you know one of them every week so the red kind of looks nice too so the purpose of these two the function and uh, light button i think it's just like you know increasing your bluetooth on uh, higher lower and off so it's like on higher off on higher off and when you're pressing all these three simultaneously that's when you get the option to change it to different colors i think that's how it works and uh, let me just uh, type in the keyboard just how it feels okay so I'm just going to put the mouse or the cursor in here and now actually it's fairly comfortable you know I cannot uh, complain uh, this this fairly you know soft touch and it's very easy to type and it feels good in your finger this is like 6 by 10 inch so this is kind of close to the screen size of my tablet as you can see they're very identical and it's like uh, my tablet is close to 10 10 inch so this is uh, 6 by 10 inch and uh, there are also function buttons right here and it looks like a full-size keyboard and you know this should connect to any devices for example including your cell phone or Windows uh, computer and uh, Chrome computer or Chromebooks which I have it right here so there shouldn't be any problem so this is going to be very handy when you travel but definitely you're going to need an external uh, mouse uh, because uh, this is just a keyboard so you need to have a mouse if you don't have a touch screen uh, like this but uh, in terms of like you know the pricing and everything uh, this looks like a quality product and uh, uh, this is one of the most popular uh, backlit bluetooth keyboards on amazon and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. Uh, there's no affiliated links, no nothing. So I'm happy with the product and I'm going to be using this mainly, you know, when I'm going somewhere uh, because I don't think I need to use this at home uh, because I have my full size big keyboard, but definitely uh, this is going to come in handy if you're out uh, or if you're going somewhere and you can just like, you know, put it in your bag or backpack or in your carry on bag. So definitely this is a travel friendly keyboard. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly, thank you.